I see you found the Messiah. Yeah. We ran into each other the after we ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. Well, need a lack. Um, this game is going pretty crazy now. <laughs> True enough. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot. Are you talking about a boy with white hair and goggles? That's Cedric, yeah. He... He said he really needed a book from the back room and said it was an emergency, and I let him have it, and he ran out and... Oh. Oh, I should have stopped him. I would have too. I hope he's... Okay. Did I, oh, Nidalak saying, did you get hit, hit in the fields? <laughs> I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> yes, everyone's sad. <laughs> everyone's dying. Yeah. Everyone's dead. I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Uh, nope. Uh... Oh my gosh. It... That was... The labs? The poor kid! No. Everyone's dying. Not him too. I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. Uh, the last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I... I need to get going. Um... Um... You... You shouldn't go out there. But... Oh, help me out here, Kip. George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand the collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. They'll never stabilize. However long that takes. They're not stabilizing. But... but... what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back, at least? Oh... But even if you do bring the sun back, the squares, they'll still be here. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. I was right there! If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. Oh my god. And if anything bad happened to the Messiah, of all people, I'm not sure if I'll be able to forgive myself. A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty oh. code speaking. Oh, right. Silver. But now I... I'm starting to understand. Messiah. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time, we've burdened you with our hope, our faith. Nina Lack is screaming, Silver! <laughs> Blissfully ignoring the fact that you're just a lost child. Hmm. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long. It's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now, you're stuck here with the rest of us. Being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... Okay. I... When I first came to this world, a long time ago, back then, all I wanted was to go home. Oh. Kevin, do you remember? It wasn't that long ago for me, but... The very first time. 
I'm not sure how far back it was for you. Uh, about three months. <laughs> but I remember, towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, oh. I still wanted the people here to be happy. So, when you told me to return the sun back then, mm -hmm. I didn't even question it. Right, yeah. But then I just came back. You... what? And then I found out about the world being like this. Uh, Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. You're a good boy, Nico. You don't have to say that. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this, it just seemed cruel. It was a free update. <laughs> cool. But then I realized something. We can get a better ending. You really wanted to save both the world and me. Let's just go with that. Just kidding. <laughs> of course, that's what we wanted to see. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Yes, the two choices. Is it really hard for you too? <laughs> It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Hmm. Do you still need to choose between one or the other? I don't know. But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Kevin. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if... So many of the nice people we met were... Oh. Were... Oh, Nico. Calm down. Kevin. Yeah. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, Nico. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. We'll just regroup the game if we have to. <laughs> Please? If you must. It wouldn't be right for me to keep you. Mm. Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go for now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. Wow. Oh, you're gonna kill these people, too. <laughs> They're all dead. You you're all dead. Ooh, hot hey, hot dogs! All the food Let's people. go get some of these. This stand smells oh. sugary. Churros! <laughs> Thanks, it's not very nutritious. <laughs> but at least they'll keep the evacuees from getting hungry. Mmm, sugar rush. Yay, look at all the book club people. Wait, the water guy. There's no water. Hey, <laughs> what, all the shady merchants are here. Yeah. The shady merchants. <laughs> yeah, yeah all no of them. Room. Yeah, all of them are here. Oh, the cat guy. Ooh, kitties. Aww. Oh. world is going is going to be much colder soon at least i can keep everyone here more oh kitty he's a hothead uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey. oh is she still asleep yeah probably <laughs> the lab conflict got totaled didn't it yeah <laughs> all those hours i put into my work and now now she fell asleep. <laughs> She's asleep. I mean, we don't have to talk to everybody again. Oh, the, the Ooh, freaking out! Yeah, we're here. The world is ending. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Screams. Internally. Oh, and the obnoxious hole. Oh. <laughs> what? You need something? <laughs> No. I suit yourself. But, just so that you know, due to recent events, the <laughs> restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporarily lifted. 
So I won't be keeping kicking people out like before. Um. What? You think I'm going to be throwing out the evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good, because I'm not. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can... This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares appeared, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. The architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. Alright, so we could just move on. Huh? Hey, yeah, we I... can. We don't need to talk to everybody. <laughs> but some I of think them the are best fun. Yeah. Oh, fine. You're, even like... though you're, it's, it's true. <laughs> All right, this yeah, guy. you like this dude. I wonder where the author is. <laughs> Apparently, he just kind of stopped showing up. The head librarian says she's still getting his manuscripts, but no one has seen him in person in so long. Mm. Ah, many people have been assuming the worst. I can't reach that person <laughs> in the back. All right, let's talk to Cuphead. Hey. Another group of evacuees should be arriving soon. I hope my friends are okay. Uh, yeah. I wonder. It's the same thing? Book. Oh, this is probably right. the same thing. Book yeah. on bugs. Book on bugs. Sorry! Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> You're going through these pages pretty fast. Oh. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, keep boring. <laughs> With the world being the way it is now, I'm just glad the author was able to write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. <laughs> Who leaves books on the ground, anyway? These oh, people? Bad people. Oh, what about the photo? Of... Photo dude. Hey, still smoking in here. Looks like I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks! <laughs> nice. He's still moving his pencil. <laughs> Maybe it didn't work. Hmm. No, I finally saw the author today. Well, his flying machine, at least. That's... I was looking out of one of the windows in the library and spotted it in the distance with my bin binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. Oh, Cedric. Not Cedric. Um... Hey. Hi. Who is it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's the sad guy. When the world ends, would it be better if would be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? Like we're stuck with the ladder. Are you playing the game just to complete the extra as an excuse to make up just crazy? Yeah, we're fit. Oh, make up voice crazy and silly voices for the characters. Why not both? Oh, we're, we're, why not both? Exactly. <laughs> author. Like not um, author. Okay. What are you doing? To Is it the same thing? Editing it. Well, I've been in the author shadow <laughs> for my entire career. Oh. If I'm gonna die soon, I wanna die knowing I put out at least one original idea out there. Yeah! You do you, man. Book He's bitter. Person. He's a bitter. Embittered. Very sweet. Oh. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, shall we move on? Yeah, I guess. Sleep. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Massaging the Screw robot. massage, lady. <laughs> Robots are the only ones we can send out there now. Really? They are now. Thankfully, we still have a couple units that aren't too badly damaged. Robot. Beep boop. Who's the top hat man? Okay. Monetary, monetary. Looks like our scouting unit number A27 is still doing okay. Hey, that's good. A2. Oh, that is. Yeah. Evening news, evening news. Everything <laughs> is terrible. Hey, Everything good news. is terrible. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say? Books. <laughs> Books. Reading helps me get my mind off things. Maybe you can go up the ladder now. <laughs> no, you can't. He's not scared anymore. Remember? Oh, we're just doing the true ending that's like super different from the original part of the yeah. game. Yeah. Right. I guess we can move on. Not this guy. Oh. oh. I had to leave my aquarium behind when they were sounding the sirens earlier. I wish oh. I had time to rescue my fish. You killed the fish too. They're lost to the squares. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dying. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, wait, that's the way back. So. You want that guy to call George again? Oh, wait, wait. Can't... No, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> what do you say? The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. Aww. We apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. Who's sick up there? Uh, dead people? Do you need something? <laughs> Please approach from the oh, front. No, yeah, I guess, whatever. Later. Later, dude. Away we go. 
Hello, goodbye. He's like, yeah, he didn't even say anything. I don't care. <laughs> Hi. Hello, person. This is the library slash den parade shelter. Okay, oh, thank you. So informative. <laughs> I, I like how you just went, like, right around him to leave. How do I get anywhere again? You uh, quick jump down, I guess? Oh. Uh, the fox is down there, right? Somewhere. It's like in another part of the city. What's the fox like? It came a little late. Oh, um, we found a fox in an alleyway, and it said, like, we weren't supposed to meet yet or something? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Spook. There it is. There is it, it is. Spook. I like how they're like, yeah, you're not going to get anywhere if you try to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, my garbage. My pretty bird. Talk about alleyways. Yeah, this don't look uh, wow, scary. Wow, they blocked off that area. <laughs> Was that it? Looks like... Oh, Jeez. yeah. Here there it is. is. Oh. Let's go. <gasps> You're here! Okay, well, does well, someone... Should I take... I could do if you want. Yes, you can. You're here. Sorry, she had a cold in the previous playthrough. <laughs> Nico! Oh, what a cutie. Are are you... Are you Rue? Oh, it's Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Oh, hello. Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... It's a fox. Everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Let's go, let's go. Library? Probably. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, look at the little tail go. Oh, what a cute. Look, look, look. Oh, Foxy. Wait, isn't that back to the library? <laughs> yeah, it is. Huh? You going to library? Gonna go book? Elevator Street's the only way we can go there, right? Let's go south? South? Yeah, I just don't know. To the left? To the left? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then that's the elevator. Oh, well, squares are here too. No. no. Squares. Okay, I guess we're going to somewhere. Library. I guess we're going to the library, whether we like it or not. Darn it, books. Darn it, learning. Yeah, maybe she's still sick. Oh. The fox was biting Nico's butt. No. <laughs> what? Yeah, she's awfully close. Yeah, but yeah. Introduce the fox to everyone. Sure. Meet my new friend. Uh, Bye, guys. Probably. Don't meet her. He's not here. No, no I guess not. Yeah, Can you go into the infirmary? Where are you supposed Maybe there was a different direction in the Hi. alleyway. Maybe. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the other side. I just want to talk to people. Yeah. Talk hey, to look at my new friend. Please be careful out there. Mm-hmm. She won't say anything. <laughs> She's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's true, because the dice head's supposed to be different, right? Yeah, right. the confident voice we saw earlier was like the snake eyes, and this one's like more timid seeming. I see. We can talk. Do you have anything to say? Oh, um, what book did Cedric take? Oh, that's a good question. The author's book on the creation of the prophet bot. You know, the first robot you met in our world. Oh, yeah. Oh, that book was quite detailed, too. It would have been useful to your friend, I think. Yeah. They all did. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was wondering why her voice seemed weird, and I was like, that's true. She has a different number. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, that doesn't match. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Yeah, the portraits were, like, different than her f first iteration that we saw. Mm -hmm. Oh, spook. Oh, yeah. I think I just came out of nothing. Uh, you wanna go see that tree again, Rue? Wait, no, I was kidding. Yeah, what's up here? Oh. Oh, no, we came from there. This was Vendor Street, wasn't it? Yeah. Spook. Spook. It's Wee. like Vendor Street, so then the elevator should be like right here, right? Yeah. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I remember. Nice. Um. Oh, that little tail. Pet it. Oh, wait, but can I even go? Oh, wait, right, I can go to the. Yeah, there's closet. two, right? Waiting for oh, all those block the other squares point. to uh -huh. freak out. Go, go, go. Let's see if this elevator works. Oh, good, it still works. Here it is. Now we're on the left side. We're missing people, though. Yeah. Uh oh. Where are the other two? <laughs> Prototype. Cedric. <laughs> About them. They're supposed to be here already. Uh, oh. uh They... 
prototype body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disk, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. No. There goes our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Step on the pattern anyway. <laughs> oh well. This one is red. Wrong way? I know anyway. <laughs> Mixed messages, yo. Is this the place? Is it spook? Oh, it's fine. Yep. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. Oh. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows. Hmm. Can you lift me onto the banister? Uh oh. Oh, jeez. I want to get a better look. Oh, God, don't do it. There's help. Titanic. Oh. Okay, just stay there. Yeah. It was depressing for me at first, too, you know. Knowing that all of this is. well. fake. simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again. That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? Individual. The world machine. Right. You might know it as the entity. Hmm. Oh. The entity does sound familiar. Yep. I think I heard it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. Right. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. Oh. Hmm. It was an oversight. It has a mind of its own. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. Mm -hmm. It was simply ingrained in his work. Mm. <sighs> and all the machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Right. Hmm. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual, intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Interesting. Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see the physical manifestations of that everywhere now. <laughs> like the world machine is it's really, really confused. Blah, 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 blah. It's bonkers. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Hmm. 
your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. So, game development. <sighs> By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Meta. Coffee is asking, where do we hear about this game? Uh, I saw my friend streaming it one time, and she was like, around something that looked like this part, so... <laughs> yeah. It was like a lot of spoilers, so I had to uh, not watch. I see, I see. Yeah. Ow! Oh! Is there any way for us to... Fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Mm. Taming? Aiming again. I have heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated and that it has to do with robots, but for once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Oh, she's the explanation explainer. Do you know what a robot is? Robot. Yeah. No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um... A robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming, with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. So a robot. <laughs> they can be copied, they can be mass-produced, they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. Cargo robot. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Huh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried. But it's a recipe for disaster. Right, like what happened to Silver. Oh. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. In a larger effect. It's a code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. Social links. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. Oh. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. Validity. Hmm. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. Mm -hmm. You have to fully embrace the robot as mm. a genuine, living person, even knowing they are not. Mm. You need to spend a lot of time with it. Treat it like a good friend. Social links. Devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. Robot. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Kevin know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the roll machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this the programmer? Are you just ranting to us at this point? Anyway, Coffee is saying like, the dialogue in this scene is intriguing, but man, there's a long wall of text. Yeah, there's actually a lot of info dumps Yeah. in this section of the game. Yeah, there's a lot of text, so, so please bear with us. We'll try to <laughs> go ahead. We're doing our best. Okay. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know? Ooh. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. So what you guys actually did in real life. Is this life. a fan patch? <laughs> Those links enabled you to meet the other two. So you, you're just talking about making the game, DLC. But as it turns out, 
the new code confused the world machine to such an extent wow. that it's breaking down altogether. It's so meta. I'm seriously. digging this meta lore. It's wow, so cool. that's pretty nuts. <laughs> Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. Now it's bonkers. Oops. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. 